Hey, Shalom, Akiyam, Shalom, call hello, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakah Hakudash. I want to send double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutations to you, Akiyam, out there. Pushing the word sincerity and truth is the brother Ariala. On this ride and talk, man, I want to talk about it will never be the same again. We ain't going back. Strap in. It will never. It will never be the same again. And um, just looking out at everything that's happening right now, currently, you have European riots brewing up because of the uh, fresh shutdowns in Italy and um, uh, Belgium. And um, there's two other European nations in the UK and in Spain. And uh, when it's looked like there's going to be more rollouts in France and other parts of the uh, EU. Uh, right now, uh, I've talked to a, a few uh, different people in Canada, and um, they're they're rolling out shutdowns out there as well. And um, there's rumblings here in Texas, and I'm sure uh, around the different states of uh, shutdowns to be initiated after the presidential elections, which are tomorrow. And even with that being said, you know, the scriptures talk about wars and rumors of wars and tumults of the people and how earthquakes in diverse places. You had this earthquake in Turkey, you just, you know, just earthquake uh, recently in Alaska. Um, you know, we are in the beginning of sorrows, man. As it talks about in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, as it talks about, was it second Ezra, the ninth chapter? And... It will never be the same again, and I, you know, and they're they're looking to just begin a whole new digital era, where pretty much you're gonna see swaths of jobs never come back. Right now, the homeless number, people are not paying their rents at a record rate. We talk about on the highways and byways how the um, the amount of homeless people that you see is just off the chain. It's on another level. And this is the times that we've been prophesying about for these years that we've been here on YouTube. Our elders and apostles have been prophesying this for over 30 years. And it takes time for the, for the Most High to put these things into place. And we're starting to see the beginnings of really this stuff has been going on since 07. Since that first collapse that happened at, in, in 08, 09. And it's just been ramping up ever since. And... When Trump got in really t around 2015, these nations outside of the U.S., the East, China, and all they homies, they really started ramping things up. But now, with all the difference in the trade wars and everything like that, we're starting to see things escalate faster and faster and faster. Right now, you just had a terrorist attack in Vienna. Apparently, there's six different locations that were attacked. I'm going to have to check, check in on what ac actually happened with that but bro it will never be the same again the way that we communicate is changing the censorship the level of censorship that you're seeing on social media is is on a whole nother level it will never be the same again Ain't no free speech get out of here with that there is no free market where you can just start a business and you gonna just live them it's over it's oh it's done it will never be the same again. So we're in a time to where you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the people that are first tuning into this, the people that don't, are like, what's the Israelites? You just now Google it. And you might happen to run across this video. Or you, you run across these different videos. It's time, more than ever, for you to lock in on your spiritual life, for you to lock in and, and build a relationship with the real Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh. Through His Son. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. The doors of the ark <laughs> are closing. We are marching headlong into World War III. We are marching headlong into global famine. Serious infrastructure problems and logistical problems. Where food ain't going to get to the market. We are marching headlong, bro, into the market of beast systems being actually implemented. And where they're forcing you to take a microchip, forcing you into a system of complete agreement with Satan and his and his kingdom. 
And this is his kingdom. He's been given authority in this world. And he's using the so-called white man, who are the Edomites in the Bible, to execute wickedness all across the planet Earth. But the Most High is getting ready to have this wicked man, Esau, Edom, this family of people, they're going to lay a snare for themselves and destroy themselves in Armageddon, man. We are on the precipice of that. It will never be the same again. Them jobs that you, everybody's at home now, you know, working, you know, from a, uh, their home cubicles. Suit and tie on top, underwear on the bottom. You ain't going back, Jack. You're not going back. It ain't happening. <laughs> and we haven't even gotten to the point where they're really trying to push these vaccines yet. We already seeing people ride in the streets all across Europe and they haven't even rolled out vaccines or anything like that. Wait until that pops off. You ain't seen nothing yet. Cause these cause cause you know, over in Europe is not in the US. In the US they'll just shoot your ass. You know. But they let the them so called white people over there make it, running around, throwing rocks, doing twirls in the street, you know, throwing cans. You do that over here in the United States, you're going to get hit with some rubber bullets, and then they'll turn it up real quick with live ammo. And we're coming into those times to where they're going to need to get control. And they're going to call anyone that's coming up against the government a terrorist, a, a, a domestic terrorist, an enemy of the state. It will not be the same again. We are coming into something that the world has not seen. We've read about it. We've seen movies about it. You know, we've had other empires crumble and fall and, you know, and read about all the craziness that went on and during Rome when it fell, during Greece, during the time, during the time whenever the Egyptians fell. But what's about to happen to the Western hegemonic power? All right. Western culture led by the United States. That's why everybody around the world is watching the United States elections. Everybody is. All around the world. See, people don't don't sit up and watch the Japanese elections. People don't sit up and, and, and watch the elections in Belgium or, or or France and wondering who who you know who, who the French elections. No, but people sit up and watch the United States elections, particularly this one. We're looking at record voting. Okay, and it's all set up and primed. For prophecy, man. For prophecy. It will never be the same again. Okay? People that think that they, if there's going to be some type of recovery in these... Mar no, bro. It's not going to be... A, it's just going to be a transitional shift. You're going to be in this type of state and they're going to shift you over into another state of being. That's what they want to do. Meanwhile, all hell and chaos is going to be breaking loose. Okay, like we read about in the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Okay, we're seeing the 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 the, the beginning parts of you know the, these military martial law type states. Okay, this, it says in it says in it's either Jeremiah 50 or 51. I believe 51. It says we would have healed Babylon, but she will not be healed. And this whole Make America Great Again campaign is in that same energy of wanting to. Heal Babylon, but she ain't gonna be healed. There's not going to be a recovery. I had somebody text me, say, "Man, I just wish it could go back to the to to where it was, where everybody got along, and uh, like like racism started with Trump. Like this place has not been uh, just a haven for just decrepitness for you for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This has been a perpetual hellhole, but." We're coming into the time of what we call Jacob's trouble. You Israelites, which is Jacob, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are about to be put at the forefront of the blame for why America can't be healed. They're going to blame you. They're going to blame you for the COVID numbers. They're going to blame you for the torn up economy. They're going to blame you for the rioting in the streets, when, especially if Biden gets in there. You're going to be the blame. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans will be the blame for the problems of, the, of America. And you will be at the forefront of his boot. You will be at the forefront of the barrel of his gun. And we warned you 
that you must come into the strong tower of the Lord for that hedge of protection. You're not going to be able to fight this man with the sword. This is a spiritual battle. And until you tap into that spiritual power, you're going to be left out there astray. The scripture says that two thirds of our people are going to die in these coming turmoil, sorrows and changing other guards. But the elect of our people who really, really repent, turn back to the heavenly father and come underneath their hedge of protection will be protected in that time. We'll be able to eat in that time. We'll be able to take care of themselves in that time. OK. Everything starts in the spirit world first and then you speak it into you speak it into reality, man. That's power. OK, that's power. And it's going to be necessary to tap into that power with what's coming. It will never be the same again. OK, you need to understand this. <laughs> you ain't going back to that office building. It's over. All right. So so we're, we're going to see what happens with these elections tomorrow. Either way it go, I feel like it's going to be good either way. As far as prophecy, the most High is using the, the minds of these world leaders to bring forth his will. OK. We're going to see what happens with that. We're going to see what, what continues to happen with these covid shutdowns. We, we're going to see how quickly they're going to go ahead and push forward with this whole vaccination, mandatory world vaccination agenda and and go from there but one thing that we know according to what the scripture says we it does seem like we were, we're here at the beginning of our sorrows and um it's time to hunker down man we'll catch you guys on the next one please add uh, comments please add scriptures down below that come to mind as you was listening to this man hey man time to take yourself seriously the most high is taking everything seriously so we should too Call hello, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakah Kadash. Double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much peace, love, and salutations to you. I'm out there pushing the word in sincerity and truth. Shalom.